Hi, today I'm going to show you iConnect MIDI. Uh, it's a little box that uh, can talk to MIDI, USB, and iPhone. This is what it looks like here. We've got some, uh, some lights that show some indication of what's going on. Two USB connectors and a PC connector. On the back are two pairs of standard MIDI ports, in and out, and another set of in and outs, and power as well. So this is this is our box connected up here. The way I've got it connected is this keyboard is just being used as a controller. We're not going to generate any sound from here. But its MIDI out is connected to our iConnect MIDI box. And from this box, there's two instruments that are connected. There's one that we don't see that's a, a, a one synthesizer. And another one, which is this synthesizer. It's a Roland JV-1010. And that's going to actually generate sound for us. So what I'm going to uh, show you first is uh, this piece of software that, that we wrote to demonstrate some of the capabilities that, that are possible with uh, the iConnect MIDI. Um, we can play notes from uh, an on-screen control. For example, this button here will play a note. You can hear that. That's playing a note, it's sending out data from the software through our iConnect MIDI box, and through MIDI, it's playing a note off of this JV1010 synthesizer. So you can imagine a keyboard that might have all this, this instrumentation. Alternatively, we can send MIDI data from the controller keyboard, the XP80, to play a sound on the uh, on board the software for the iPhone. Let me turn that volume all the way up here. Okay, so that that's going from the controller into the iPad. Now, what we can do, we've got one parameter. MIDI is composed of a lot of parameters and can control lots of things. One of the things it can control is pitch. The, it, traditionally, you'd control it from a pitch wheel, but we've got the accelerometer on this software uh, mapped to pitch control on this synthesizer. So if I turn that on, we can now play. I'm going to turn the sound off of this so it's not playing this sound as well. And there's a the sound, and I'm going to change pitch by tilting the accelerometer on the y-axis. That's a new way of controlling pitch using the iPhone, uh, the iPhone, iPad, iPod accelerometer going through our box iConnect MIDI and into a, synth a synthesizer.